Yo, what up? Have y'all figured out how I'm that dude? Unlike a lot of online YouTube personalities and podcasters, I just get right to the fucking point, man. So I've been listening to a lot of Yellow Wolf lately. A lot of Eminem, a lot of Ritz, a lot of Tech Nine, a lot of Chris Calico, a lot of cats who are out of the South. And Triple Six Mafia, which is rebranded. And man, I'm just saying, like, Yellow Wolf, man, look, Yellow Wolf's new shit, dude. Oh my God. Like, I told my cousin Rizzo last night, and I told um the homie from 495, L4. I told him, uh, I mean, Rizzo is 495. You know what I'm saying? But I told my label mate, bandmate, you know what I'm saying? The same thing that I told my cousin Rizzo. Um, I mean, we're all 495, you know what I'm saying? But I just want to make the distinction that the homie from 495L4 who raps with me, you're probably like, bro, why don't you probably like, bro, why don't you just say his name? And I'm like, well, because, um, you know, that's the homie. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, there's a lot of rebranding going on, you know what I'm talking about? So, at any rate, um, yeah. So, no, man, I'm saying I was talking to Sin, all right? So, I was talking to Sin, you know what I mean? And uh, you're probably like, Grove, what's up? It's because there's a new song coming out, man, and I got to be quiet about it, all right? So, this is just a new rap coming out, man, and I got to be quiet about it. So, at any rate, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. I'm just saying. Um, we're doing a lot of stuff, different things, man. So, um, yeah. So talking to the homie and, and my cousin Rizzo, who's also the homie. And I let him know, I was like, yo man, the yellow wolf shit dude with the DJ dude, that's the fucking t- dude. Yellow wolf in his DJ. His DJ is one of the fucking filthiest DJs of all time. And Yellow Wolf is obviously one of the filthiest fucking rappers of all time. One of the tightest MCs of all time. Now listen, listen, listen. What I'm saying is this. Last night, I was on a Yellow Wolf marathon. I'm talking, man, going through the tracks. Going through the tracks, man. I mean, I've been listening to Yellow Wolf since like day one. You know what I mean? And the whole Slamerican movement and the whole Strange Music movement. You know, teching them. And uh got this motherfucker behind me with his high beams and shit. What's up, man? What's your fucking high beams? You fucking Jake. Here, how about this? Is that good enough for you? I'm out, out of your lane? Alright, let me get over. You might have some emergency shit going on. I don't want to be in your way. There. Now the lane is open and clear for you to do whatever the fuck you got to do. Alright? There you go, motherfucker. So anyway... So when he, yeah, dude, I'm doing the fucking speed limit. It's 45. Yeah. It's fucking 45 goddamn fucking miles an hour. Fucking piece of shit. So, um, I should get behind him and I should hit my fucking high beams too. Hey, what's up, dude? You ain't going 80 miles an hour? You ain't going 80 in a 45, bitch? Huh? What's up? Hmm? What's up? Police reported ahead. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, buddy? You hear that? No, you're in another vehicle. You might not have the software and shit that I have. You might not have your ways up and running. Police is up ahead, motherfucker. So, um, keep going. Keep doing your 80 in the 45. You know, get up to 90. Double it up. Fucking fool. This guy's a fucking moron. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be your ticket, not mine, sucker. So, um, so yeah, man, I've been listening to a lot of, uh, Yellow Wolf and his rhymes are not only fucking ultra, but like, man, like his shit is on a new level, like just an unprecedented fucking level of like lyrical ability and like stamina, man. Um, let me check out this track. Let me give you all an example. The track that I'm talking about here. Give me one moment to Google the shit. And then, um, you know, 
don't do anything illegal, like in terms of like turning up speakers and shit and getting the police involved, because I'm not giving any kind of legal or business advice. Yellow Wolf. Check out this uh, video real quick. I'll tell y'all which one it is. Videos. Uh, Yeah, Bloody Sunday. Look, man, I ain't getting into the beef between him and Post Malone, but that's some cold shit right there. I mean, look, I bumped some of Post Malone shit. I'm, I, I, don't, I don't have any reason to dislike Post Malone. The shit Yellow Wolf said is ultra cold, though. Like, ultra fucking cold, though. And, uh, yeah. So, um, that track and then the Elvis track. Hold up. I, yeah, so, sorry, I had to pause there for a minute. Um, so, yeah, the track is Elvis, Messy. You know, like someone's messy. Elvis, messy. That track is fucking hard. I mean, that dude, listen. His DJ, the way they have blended the South, the Southern sound, the Southern vibe, the way they have taken the South and connected up with the hip hop rap universe, dude, as a duo, he and his DJ, and forgive me, man, because like I heard the track before a couple of times, but I like really focused on it like last night. I don't know who his DJ is. Let me just go here, man. His DJ dude is one of the fucking ultra coldest fucking DJs because it just says Yellow Wolf. And uh, Elvis Messi, hold up, let me uh, let me Google this, man, I need to know this, man, let's check this out together, let's do this together here, hold up, let me see, let me see here, who is Yellow Wolf's DJ? I'm getting an answer here, sooner than later, fucking Google be doing that stupid shit. Josh Winkler. Okay, Josh Winkler, born 4 July 1977, better known as DJ Clever with the K. DJ Clever is a prominent American turntablism and two-time U.S. disco mix club champion. He has toured across the world and resides in Atlanta, Georgia. Dude, listen, DJ Clever, wow. Man, his shit, man... That shit is just so, also known as his AKA is Killer, Killer Clev, Killer Clev. Look, man, look, that dude is one of the raddest fucking DJs in the world. And I know because I grew up listening to hip hop. I grew up listening to rock music, man, that, that, that video, that video, man, with Yellow Wolf in him, Elvis Messi. Oh my god, dude, that shit is fucking devastating. I, I'm serious. Like, I I I I am trying to let and express, trying to let y'all know and express how fucking phenomenal I know the shit is. What is the other track? He's got two of the black and white jumps. Okay, so he's got the Yellow Wolf Bloody Sunday Freestyle. He's got the Elvis Messy, and then there's another one. I think it's like part two freestyle or something like that. Um, dude, I, I, I'm just saying like, man, the shit that, that, that Yellow Wolf is doing. I remember when he had the like trunk bass like thing going on when it was all like bass in the trunk. And I was like, yo, who's this? Who's this dope MC that's coming up out of Alabama? Like, who is this dude? Like the way he flowed, you know what I'm saying? And and I was like yellow wolf and like and calls himself yellow wolf like this dude this dude is highly fucking skilled and then to see his progression to see his uh you know that genesis and then his seminal works and then progression and uh evolution over time dude yellow wolf dude is a fucking phenomenal artist he's right up there with eminem he literally is right up there with Eminem and that movement that they have that Ritz has with with Yellow Wolf and vice versa 
and M and Tech Nine from Strange Music, man, Ritz, Tech Nine, Eminem, Yellow Wolf, uh, Twista from the Windy City, Chicago, Twista, Tech Nine, Ritz, Eminem, Yellow Wolf. Dude, they're some of the most devastating fucking MCs in, in the universe. Some of the fucking most phenomenal, most spectacular, most motherfucking phenomenal MCs on the planet. Chris Calico as well. Dude, Chris Calico, I've been peeped, man. Chris Calico, man, his vocals, they're everything that crew as a network, as a consortium, as a team. Slamerican, Strange Music, and all their different offshoots. Dude, that shit is the hardest shit from the South. I mean, look, I'm also a Paul Wall fan, you know? I, I, I'm a Swisha House fan. So so the shit that Swisha did, the shit that um that uh Triple Six Mafia did, the shit that Strange, Slamerican, and all of them have done. Dude, the South is no fucking joke. And that's that's the problem with some kids, man. Is they be listening to some corny ass music. Some motherfuckers that are just some off brands. And some just lame ass jakes. And I'll be like, yo, uh, have you ever heard of like Tech 9 And they'll be like, you mean the gun? And I'm like, no, dude, I mean the rapper Tech 9 They'd be like, nah, I ain't never heard... Oh, yeah, someone told me. And I'm like, dude, it's the 21st century and you still have never fucking heard a Tech 9 song. And they're like, um, no, I listen. And listen, 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 man. Listen, no disrespect. But they'll be like, they'll say something like, because in the South, little boozy is big. I'm saying out here in New York, you got cats out here. You know what I'm saying? That cats on the West Coast don't know about. And when I lived in Chicago... Illinois in the Midwest, a lot of cats, Little Boozy, you know, Little Boozy was was a big name out there, you know, and I'd ask them about artists from out west, and they didn't know who those artists were. I'm like, man, you ain't never heard of Sibo? You ain't never heard of E-40? They were like, nah, and I'm like, you've never heard of the rapper E-40 from the Bay Area of California, and they were like, nah, but I heard a little boozy, that's all lot, man, when I was in Chicago, back in like the early 2000s, man, it was all a little boozy, I'm just saying, he was popping out there, you know what I'm saying, it is to this day, and um, you know, they know about Lil Dirk and Boozy, and, and Twista and them, you know what I'm saying, at the time, Listen, listen, at the time, they didn't, a lot of them didn't know about West Coast rappers. Some of them didn't even know about, like, East Coast rappers out here. You know, not so much, not, not like, now it's different, because with the internet, you know, now, but I mean, listen, listen, to this day, I've, I've talked to hip hop heads from different parts of the country in the past month, and they have never heard of, like, strange music and, like, Tech Nine. And I've had to fucking school them and educate them. I'm like, look, man, because they want me to hear some of their shit that I'm like. And then after I hear some of their shit, I'm like, yo, let me throw on some shit, man. You might want to take a list. And then they hear it for the first time and they're mind blown. They're like, I've never heard anything like this before. And I'm like, you know why? It's because because, man, suckers don't fucking know how this shit is supposed to go, you know? They're so used to the same cookie cutter, cut out shit, you know, where it's all the same shit, auto tune on the voice, ignorant content, you know, the same. What did I say? What did, what did I say? Eight? Is it seven or eight? Fucking bitches, drug deals, the guns that they have, the clothes that they have, the jewels that they have, the cars, that six. It's like two more. Motherfuckers got to let you know the same shit over and over. Fucking bitches. Selling drugs. Oh, yeah. Not just selling drugs, 
But then they also got to tell you about the money that they're making. They got to tell you about their clothes. They got to tell you about their jewels. Tell you about their jewels. They got to tell you about their the cars that they're you know that they're rocking. And it's always a foreign. It's got to be a fucking foreign. I'm saying, back up to six. There's like two other things. There's like two other things in the little fucking stupid formula. You know what I mean? And it never changes. It never changes. And then they hear Tech Nine. Then they hear Ritz. Then they hear, you know what I'm saying, Yellow Wolf. They hear uh, Chris Calico. They hear Twista. Like, legit. Legit. I met some cats a few days ago. They had never heard of Twista or Tech Nine. I like, mean, get the fuck out of here. What are you listening to? And I know what they're listening to. They're listening to the same trash. Listen, man, when I go through YouTube and I listen to the shit on YouTube, anytime it's that fucking so-called rap shit, the very moment the auto-tune voice comes on, it sounds like the same nigga every motherfucking time. It just, the auto-tune shit, it sound like one fucking dude. I'm like, real. not only does it sound like one dude, it sounds like one fucking song. And I'm like, why are you ignorant fucks making this shit? When you go to the studio, is there anything that stops you and says to you, yo, dude, so you want to be a rapper? How about you do something different than the other rappers do? For once in a lifetime. Maybe you don't want to use auto-tune and set yourself apart from the other artists. Maybe you want to talk about some different shit. Maybe you don't want to talk about fucking bitches. Maybe you don't want to talk about the jewels that you wear. Maybe you don't want to talk about selling drugs and glorifying that. I mean, it's one thing to say that you did it, man, and you're glad you ain't doing it anymore. You know what I'm saying? But but, but maybe you don't want to promote it. Maybe you don't want to mention a foreign whip. Because who gives a fuck if you have a foreign whip? I've had a lot of cars in my lifetime, and I've never had a fucking foreign whip. Why would I? Why the fuck would I? Why the fuck would I? What do I need a foreign for? That shit sounds stupid to me. When I hear a rapper say that they have a foreign car, I'm like, what a copycat. So fucking what? Am I supposed to think you're cool because you said you have a foreign? You probably rented the shit. And even if you own the shit, who gives a fuck? I mean, literally, man, these rappers are so, so, so fucking cookie cutter. I'm I'm going to keep it at that. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep saying that they're so cookie cutter. They 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 think that they're being hard, and they have an audience, and so that audience enables them, and it pumps them up, and they feel like they're doing right. But there's another audience, cats from the old guard, from the old school, from the orthodox. That would be fucking me, Grandmaster Grove. And when I hear a nigga hit them different data points, fucking bitches, selling drugs, promoting it, the money, you know, that they obviously don't really truly fucking have. I mean, it's one thing to talk about getting some cheddar, some chips, some ends, some ducats, you know what I'm saying? Some skrillas, some scratch. Yeah, okay, bet. But to talk about some just fucking ridiculous shit, man, over. And to talk about their drip, their jewels. 495L4, man. We got like one cat in the crew who could do that, who could rock the jewels. 99% of 495, we don't fuck with none of that shit. We just don't do it. We just don't do it. It's just lame for us. Because, man, we're real hustlers and that shit is lame to us. Have you ever hear have you ever heard us one time mention driving in a foreign whip? No, because we don't. And we don't fucking care. We drive old school shit. Like Impalas, Chevys. You know what I'm saying? Regals, cutlasses. Old school shit, man. Oldsmobiles. And um 
man, come on. Fords, Chryslers, like, I'm saying American fucking built vehicles. But you know what I'm saying, man? These fucking nerds, not in a good way nerds, not real nerds, like goofy niggas type nerds. You know what I'm saying? Dorks and shit. Man, these kids nowadays are fucking lost, man. And they think what they're saying is tough and they think it's cool and it's uncool and it's not tough. 